Dragon Wing. I let you go off. And I'm just like protecting little plucker, covering its back as uh, we make our way back to the, the crest, the hill. All right. And then I appear back. Yeah. Mere moments later. Uh, I decide, do you know what? We've got possibly the most valuable thing I've ever seen in my life. So I'm not going to take any chances. The but power of friendship. The power of friendship. Yeah. Maybe the power was the friendship we made along the way. <laughs> uh, but what I have left uh is the knife okay holding a parch- parchment on which i've hastily scribbled go fuck yourself oh, nice Signed. dot 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 Cuts. yeah <laughs> <laughs> use a slot <laughs> slot use it but <laughs> and i'm feeling i'm fr- feeling pretty buzzed actually because right. that's the first time i've not gone kick. just hunting after anything i thought oh that was nice nice but i still mm. want to be rude because I enjoyed it. All right. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Very good. Um, you scurry as quickly as you can. You spear it away, pluckers, and you make uh, back to your original, like your kind of little mini four little, racing base for those four hours. Yeah, okay. or eight hours. Um, meanwhile, Cassius and Oscarin, mm. um, I'd say you've more or less made your way back to the threshold of the city. Nice. Uh, so and it's pretty, leading them a merry chase. Well, yeah, you've got a the, long way. They've gone in, you know, another direction. Mm. But you've made your way back to the mouth of where the okay. uh, Traders Road meets okay. uh, the westernmost gate, mm-hmm. and you see a couple of watchmen just kind of standing guard. Uh, they offer no challenge, and they're just speaking to each other. Cool. Uh, but there are kind of sconces across the walls, uh, a couple of standing pyres, and uh, the place is well lit. Do we? Would it look weird if we just turned around and wandered back off into the darkness? No, nope, I don't think so. I think we can assume that we've done our distraction. And but as in, would it look weird to the city guard if we just sort of arrive as late, weary travellers, and then they're like, actually, I don't fancy it. I'm going to go um, back off into the darkness. Just, oh, yawn. Yeah. <laughs> just walk back off into the night. They don't sound, sound that fast. They don't sound like they're being that vigilant. I mean, they they're are that, really that, paying you no shit. That, that guarding. They're not being very guardy. No. Let's just go back. All I right. Think. Yeah. We yeah, see you crack a joke. <laughs> back to the foxhole we go. Yeah. Back to our shitty little hole. Okay. And you make your way back down the yeah. trade road, off uh, back to the south, back to where you yeah, know back the to where um, we set up. maybe not so pre-designed, uh, pre-agreed mm. rendezvous points again. Uh, when you nice. get there, you see um, nothing, um, and <laughs> Cassius <laughs> okay. and Pluckers. Get right, out, Pluckers. We need to get out of here, quick shop. Well, we still need to get. We still need the cockatrice's breath. <sighs> I and mean, we don't have to get there. Are cockatrices in other parts of the Forgotten Realm? All I'm going to say is, what's going to stop these people coming back and sitting, doing the same thing that they did before? And a little voice speaks in my head and just be like, kill them. Good. Let the hate <laughs> flow through you. And I'm just like, Shit no, leads to no. Anger. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit leads to no. Who are you talking to, Cassius? No one. Uh, but... Is that your sister? We should. Or we what? should just. No one. We. <laughs> ding ding. We should just. Ding ding ding. We should ding, just. Ding, ding. Maybe punish these people a little bit. Just punch them a little bit. I don't. Maybe like blow off a leg. Are you gonna kill, I don't want to put too to fine death. a point on it. They do have a fucking big eagle. Yeah. I don't really want to fight an eagle. And we have honest. a champion this? of the pits, a tiefling with a five foot tail, <laughs> a. Young whippersnapper whose songs are legendary, and just me, a guy whose wife's died. Just Husband a guy, to a murdered wife. Just a guy with nothing Father left to, to live a for. Yeah. And, so, and for context as well, the eagle, a giant eagle like that, is monstrous. I mean, up until now, all of you have been doing odds and ends, errands, bit of one to one or small group gladiatorial combat. I mean, the idea of fighting a giant eagle is These... says beyond your means. Doesn't even cuss it. These people are wrongdoers, but we are not prepared for okay. this fight. So let's As back, great, to the, back to the tavern. Yeah, we all sleep in the same room. We are outmatched. We all we all have each other's back. Now the silver clasp is out of business. That That's is going to be the case, isn't it? Because I think every single member of staff dead is dead. Yeah, yeah. we can find another pub. Does anyone know anyone we could leave the chicken with? 
a safe house for the, a safe coop. Yeah. Um, you currently don't have any. I mean, you got friendly with that tavern keep. I don't trust anyone apart from ourselves. Yeah. Mm. And if we're going to protect this chicken, yeah. Then if it's, we got I'd any rather... way to disguise the chicken, maybe as a throw pig. people off the uh, scent. Yeah, I do. I do have a disguise kit. I do. Yeah, yeah. I do. I mean, I could get my disguise. I also have a disguise kit. Could we paint the chicken? <laughs> Could we make so, it look like so a look at each dog? other? Slowly turns to look at the chicken. The chicken's like, guys gets back at the chicken. The chicken, looks, like, the chicken looks at you. Montage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the problem is the the chicken's with us, isn't he? So I'll tell you what. If we disguise him, let's go. Do we want to go back into the city? Why don't we just go wake up the cockatrice wrangler? Have a stick of wing inside a cockatrice's mouth and then we can just piss off then we can just leave this godforsaken shithole of a city and never have to had, deal with these idiots the again had the cockatrice wrangler arrived at the farmer's market he had it yeah, that, that was, going, that was this morning okay let's go back to the farmer's market and see if he's arrived okay um, it's also a night market you discover right? no, oh, brilliant. and actually it's like now in- well lit it's like a kind of um it's like an evening festival. I love it. You know, you kind oh. of hear merriment, you hear music playing, uh, you see people laughing, joking. How drinking. many fuckers are kicking a happy sack around? Uh, but oh. Loads of loads of happy sacks. Are there any, are there any like uh, musical or like competitions or anything going on? Um, no, ob- no organised competitions. Um, okay. But you just see, you know, you see individual musicians um, doing, you know, just doing a bit of unofficial busking. caps in front of them, busking. Nice. You see a couple of them competing. Any rich looking pieces of shit I can steal the coin purses oh, from. Oh, plenty. Mm-hmm. Gentrified mm-hmm. so many marks. This market. Yeah. Let's we steal should. enough stuff we don't um, need to But you know what? Things. There's nice. a rather large uh, condensed crowd um, in the middle of the market, and they're all around, and you can see over their heads um, a cage. Okay. It's rather wide, and uh, they're all kind of huddled in around this cage. Jacob, do you want to go and take a handful of these herbs and shove them in the cockatrice's mouth? It would be my pleasure. I take some herbs from yeah. you. And I'd, I'd say at this point you've got a you've got a basic mix, mix yeah. in a pouch. Um, the spice, salt, the spice pepper, yeah. some garlic salt. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, um, you look like you've seen a few fights. Be right on I'll, the street, I'll, huh? I'll accompany Jacob just on this little. Yeah, I don't want to. What do you look like, okay. well, Jacob? You got armor, paladin. Yeah, I, he is. He's a big bloke wearing sort of rough road leathers with a a, ch- a chainmail shirt over it and a heavy woolen cloak over that. All right. So he's a big guy. He's a big guy. He approaches the cage, and he looks in. Okay. And he looks around to see if there's anyone sort of minding or tending. Yes. This beast. There is absolutely, and you notice there's something else above the heads of the crowds. Um, you see a. Um, you see a couple of things. Um, the first thing is, and the crowd are giving it a wide berth, uh, but this towering armoured creature. Uh, it's got heavy iron fists and this thick visor uh, like a knight's where its face should be. And it's definitely not human. It looks more like a construct and it's staring coldly at the crowd. And as you approach it, you hear this grinding noise as the visored helmet turns to look at you. So in his time in Waterdeep, Jacob's seen uh, a lot of stuff like that construct. He would probably not go toe-to-toe with it unless he really had to. Cassius had seen uh, these big advisored constructs before. He had two Guardian Borders Gate PD headquarters. One was called Bob. Nothing's in all sorts of nonsense through her time wending her way through the world. She, this is This is... Not particularly impressive, I don't think. Osgarin 100% could not take any form of animated golem, be it clay or metal or otherwise. He's he's not great with a sword. He just about knows the pointy end from the from the not pointy end. Uh, behind it is a squat little man in purple robes. Uh, he's got a golden neck chain and a fluffy fur hood, and he's kind of uh, wringing his hands. And uh, calling out to the crowd. I, I grab like uh, Jacob and I say, I think his name was Marcelo, right? Marcelo? Marcel? Oh. Marcelo? Well remembered, Cassius. I walk over to this man and say, Good evening, sir. I have a strange request. 
I need the breath only for a, a few moments <laughs> of your beast, of okay. your cockatrice. And behind him, attached to the cage, but in a separate cage. And this cage, by the way, is like, it's like Thunderdome. Yeah. You know, it's like this wide dome. Yeah. It's about 50 feet at the widest point, circular. Um, it has one entrance, one exit. Um, but also it has this uh, larger, uh, well, not larger than the entire cage, but this square box cage attached to it. And inside is the most bizarre looking creature you've ever seen. Um, it's definitely the cockatrice. Um, you actually get this kind of um, reeking, sort of rotten smell coming off of it. Um, it's got this leathery skin, these talons at the end of its uh, leathery wings. And it's, um, as described, kind of like a cross between a bat, a lizard, and some kind of massive bird. Um, mm. It looks just horrifying. Does it look angry? It looks per- perpetually angry. Right. Uh, it's kind of kind of snapping, chomping at the bars, uh, clack, uh, clashing at them with the uh, with its wings. Uh, you can see parents and their children kind of daring each other to go nearer to this thing and kind right. of giggling, laughing or shrieking, crying as a uh, as it kind of snaps at them. But it looks hor- uh, horrifying. Uh, the little man though goes, "Oh, what exotic gentleman!" And he kind of remarks on your uh, pauldrons coming off your armor. Well, surely your dad likes to have a little go. And then he gestures towards the sign. And it says, monster wrangling, only ten silvers. Uh, pin the beast and win a gold. I have some limited experience of performing like this, but really all I want to do is, is get close enough to feel this creature's breath oh, and it's be ter- gone. Oh, it's terrifying. Terrifying to be sure. But I tells you now, all you've got to do is pin the beast. I myself am a demon hunter. Caught this little ditty myself, I did. Pinning it for a big lad like you ain't no thing, my son. <clears throat> Only tell ten silver. Hold the beast's head to the ground for five seconds and the gold is yours. Ten silver, I call. And then I flip him uh, the money. Just palm, put it into his hand. Mm-hmm. He's like, you got of course this. my friend Jacob will take part. <laughs> and then I just put the, cal- uh, the pouch of spices into his hand. Lean in, be like, Oi, pin his head to the ground. Right. Get him to breathe on the spices, and then we're in. Just okay. so you flicks ten silver at him, so it just <laughs> kind of hits him in the face. Ting, 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 ting. He goes, ah! Oh! <laughs> and and uh, like, scoops it up from the ground. <laughs> somewhere, it up. somewhere, somewhere, Pluckers pop. Yeah. And, yeah. and Pluckers was with you at uh, Okay, okay. Feet. So as... Okay. And presumably is Jacob, are you, are you walking into the... Yeah, game? Jacob undoes the clasp um, at his neck, wow. shrugs off his cloak, falls to the ground, <laughs> cracks out nice. his neck. All right. pick, nice. it up, pick up the cloak, just be like... He does a... Uh, and don't worry, if uh, should any danger uh, come to you, Lily over here will sort you out. And he uh, slaps this enormous kind of guardian creature yeah. um, on the shoulder. But uh, one disclaimer, sometimes accidents do happen and uh, Marcel cannot be responsible for any untimely uh, deaths, you understand. Before Jacob enters He's the gonna... ring, I grab him by his arm and turn to him like, what do they call you in the fighting pits? <laughs> Hammerfall. Hammerfall. And then I just start Hammerfall. just like... Banging on the side of the iron fence, just nice. Hammerful, as hammerful, as hammerful, yeah, hammerful, as hammerful, trying to like gather the crowd to inspire. Yeah, yeah. Our, as, as Cassius our, does that, I feel press the digitation coming. Oh, you better be. Oh, yeah. 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 I just uh, sparklers. touch a finger to my to my throat, uh, and I jump up onto the cage. <laughs> Uh, and very much, Sorry, I'm, I'm picturing like Paul Bettany in a Knight's Tale, nice. right? right. Uh, stand up on the <laughs> cage. Look around at everybody, and I, uh, I take up the chant of Hammerful. <laughs> Hammerful. You horrible oiks, I mm. shout. I look around you, you dirty, you downtrodden masses. Mm. Look before you and see our weary traveller, Hammerful. Hailing from parts unknown, he's going to take to the ring with the cockatrice. All right. Jacob's while doing everyone's also, looking like, at right this. Yeah. I'm going to do some pitboxing. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Nice. We will come to the pitboxing in one nice. second. Osgarin, um, supported by Cassius, you're going to do a performance nice. check. And um, take advantage. Nice. And as part of this, I'm also going to give you a d6. Oh, it's yours. Thanks. That's some bardic inspiration. Oh, lovely. You are inspired by my stirring words, and you can use that d6 to add. You roll it, and you can add the number to any attack roll, saving throw, or... Ability check. 
Or ability check. Nice. Is that just once? Sick. Just or once, and then he has to give it back to me. How does that inspiration well, take form exactly? Like, what do you? In what way did you confer? So as I'm, as well, I'm like, shouting, heard him do that, yeah, he's, he's hearing me. Oh, like a we will rock you type. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty much. You're getting pumped. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> from the, from the, from my stone words, and hopefully the crowd are getting a little bit like riled up. They're banging on the nice banging on the cage. So performance. Let's get two of those rolls, and you can take the higher of the two with advantage. Jesus Christ. Uh, ten. Okay. With a ten, rather embarrassingly, um, the two of you are sort of going at it. No one really notices. <laughs> uh, Marcel goes, Oh, well, you know, it was a lovely try. <laughs> and then so Jacob's screaming. Yeah, Jacob's right. Right. You've got this! <laughs> You've got this, brother! Jacob is, he's sort of limbering up, but he's also not really listening. He's actually muttering to himself quite rapidly. He's, he's saying prayers to to Tyr. And nice. he's also making the quick sign of tear to himself. What's, nice. what's is that the just a single streak down your face? It's like a timeout. It's like a timeout. It's like a timeout. It's like a timeout. It's, like it's like a timeout. Like time you start. You get to your chest like that. <laughs> well, like I see it. Big chin. Big chin. Oh, like, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. Or, or, or with, the, right. with the arms. But, yeah, he's making exactly. a sign of tear. To actually, a couple of nearby believers drop drop yeah. you a timeout as yeah. well. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> a timeout. Not, not with respect uh, at this holy man. Marcel goes, well, the silver's good, and he's been biting each of the coins. Uh, he puts them in this rather heavy-looking uh, coin pouch inside. Marcel, can I use my hammer? <laughs> Jacob asks. He goes, oh, no, no weapons. No, it's a wrangling thing. Okay, it's like grappling. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, nothing. You were doing a bit of pitboxing? I was, yeah. So just while the, the cheers were going up, everyone was looking towards the melee, seeing what was happening. I'm just looking for any... Again. Let's just get a quick low, sli- sleight of hand check. Low-hanging fruit. Mm-hmm. Balls. Yes. Oh, That's good. That's not a d20. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh. That's so good. Uh, what was it? Sleight of hand, did you say? Yes. Uh, 22. 22. All right. Um, a couple of coin pouches lose their masters, and you gain 30 silver. Nice. Uh, Jacob, while she's having that on, your inspiration dice... You can roll your d20 first, mm. and you can then choose whether to add that or not. But you have to choose to do that before the DM tells you whether your original roll is successful or not. So you've got a gauge got whether you. you think that yeah, will help okay, you or not. Okay, okay, okay. Marcel cool. just looks perplexed at this and goes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, what, good advice. Roll a what? <laughs> that. Okay, all right. Uh, meanwhile, he claps on the shine and goes, right, lads, you ready? And uh, he um, points at... Uh, Lily and this guardian stomps over to the cage and with a squeak raises one hand to uh, the slat separating the cage and the dome and um, uh, is kind of poised and ready. How how do you feel about returning into a fighting pit? Not good is is the short answer. Mm. Actually actually he's not going to say anything because he's trying to get focused but actually hearing people chanting hammerful makes him feel quite uncomfortable it's a life he's left behind I think nothing she thinks like he's good at fighting we can get something out of it why isn't he doing it she's sort of like well we can get something out of this and it's what we need so let's go Osgarin is really unsure about Jacob's motives. I guess he understands that this human being doesn't want to fight anymore. Why wouldn't you get your strongest guy back in the ring to fight? A tough moment for Jacob, definitely, going into the fight with the cockatrice. Uh, He has turned over a new page and he doesn't want to be fighting for other people's pleasure anymore. But he's also found a new gang to to be with and he wants to... um, He wants to help them. I try to rally the crowd once more, but instead of calling out Hammerfall, it's just more of a chant of tear, tear, <laughs> all right, tear. I will tear for tear. Nice. Three tear. I cake. will. <laughs> I will allow Three it because tier. the last one was uh, Oscarins, who tried and failed. Cassius, you're going to have a go. I'd say because you picked up on the fact there are a couple of timeouts yeah. Yeah. in the uh, time. group, that alone will give you some advantage. So you can roll twice, take the higher of the two. For performance. Uh, 19. Okay. You hear this like priestly chorus rise up from the crowd. And it's like. Oh, oh. oh. oh yeah. No. No, no, you just get this like. Just Fran- Franciscan <laughs> chanting. <laughs> you, see, you see one kid just do it. And then 
a, like around him more 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 people yeah like he a, likes that a lot more Jacob's like a, a lot more into that I press to digitate like a, a sparkly tea bat sign the tear signal just <laughs> sparkles into existence yes lasts for up to an hour you do that on one of these symbols and this kind of beam of light spreads nice. up into the sky and it projects like a bat signal with the, t- uh, with the time yeah. out tea sign <laughs> and actually you know what as that happens um, Jacob you feel this kind of like uh, this unearthly tingle. You know, all this time you've been um, walking the walk and you've been um, talking the talk of following Tim. For the first time in your life, you feel this kind of resonant divine tingle, this kind of warmth well. sp- thre- uh, spread throughout your body. And actually in the sky where the signal is, the clouds themselves uh, form Jesus. the symbol of uh, tear wow. in the sky. Wow. So that, was that was not me. That was not me. And it's and literally hands making it. It's like uh, too huge. Oscar, in your flabbergasted. Uh, yeah. But it happens. And, and, so, and so is Jacob. Jacob, yeah. Jacob. Jacob looks up and, as you say, does for the first time feel a genuine connection yes. rather than just his faith. Yes. This is all over some wing seasoning. Exactly. Yeah. The just to get space. the perfect wing. <laughs> <laughs> but all the same. And uh, Marcel notices this too and goes, right, well, in you go. In you go. <laughs> yeah. He pushes you and closes the door behind you. Um, at a command and uh, you see Marcel grip something beneath his robes. Um, the guardian rips open the slab and this cockatrice just <laughs> kind of screeching. <laughs> kind of uh, stamps in, gallops, um, and starts just like stomping and, and snapping and beating its wings furiously, shaking its head from side to side. Uh, its eyes fix on you suddenly, and it stares you down. Um, you're going to roll initiative with this thing. The rest of you are just watching this happen. 20. It's a 16, so you're going to act first. Uh, Jacob is going You've to... You've got this, Jacob! He's going to make an evasive run towards it and try and grapple it around the neck nice. and pull it down kind of to the ground. Side to side exactly, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, side, side. Yep. Like how you meant to run away from a hippo. Hard to hit a moving target. Yeah. Nice. nice. Serpentine like fashion. In a, like in, in Apocalypto a when they're throwing fashion. the spears at the two runaways. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like that, but then also towards a monster. You know in Game of Thrones when they're like the, the <laughs> Rickon. Oh, Rickon. Rickon's yeah. running away. Why didn't he just run in a little... He tweeted that. Thing? He was like, should have zigzagged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Idiot. He should. <laughs> um, um, nice. You dart towards the thing and you're going to try and grapple it. This is going to be a contested um, athletics, athletics check from your side. It's going to do... The higher of its two, which is also, um, yeah, it's also going to be athletics. That's fine. 14. 22. 22. You grab the thing. It is grappled. <laughs> yeah. Jacob wrestles it as best as he can to the ground. Its front legs buckle. Now, at this point, you don't wrestle it to the ground, but you have okay, it trying grappled. To. You're okay. going to have to do one more of those to get it down. Um, and anything more before the cockatrices go? No, no, I think that's it. That's all I can do, I think. Okay, the thing is going to snap at you for a six versus AC. It misses me. It just clang <laughs> off, my, off my chain mail, maybe. Just kind of snapping, biting around, clasping onto your armor, but doesn't get a hit. You'll go. Punch it in the head. Punch it in the. I'm going to punch it in the eye as hard as I can. Sure, I will. I'll allow it, and you can do that as well as your grapple. That's fine. Just okay. do a an arm strike. 14 plus I don't know if I have any kind of strength yeah. strength just your normal strength should have an arm strike there uh, it's not on my attack list just plus this battle oh, sure 16 yeah fine um, 16 is a hit um, what your damage would be a set figure which I think is just your strength one isn't, isn't it I thought uh, an arm strike was 1d6 just, plus strength it's just a set figure is it yeah it's just a set figure you always hit for that damage okay. let's just go with the 1d6 for now Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll read whatever these rules are. Uh, three plus my strength modifier. Yeah. Three. Okay. Three. <laughs> you clock into it, and the thing kind of looks dazed for a moment as you try to grapple it to the ground Still again. Still it to the Let's ground. Let's get another athletics roll from you. Roll pretty well. Fifteen. Uh, twenty. Natural. Uh, natural twenty. Twenty. Uh, Twenty-four. That was a crit. That was a crit. Yeah. <laughs> as the crowd roars as you slam this thing into the ground and try to hold it there you just hear this pop <laughs> underneath as uh, two wings sprout out of uh, pluckers and fall into the satchel Yay. but uh, you're kicking and writhing and holding this thing uh. and then Marcel calls time and the crowd just roars around you <sighs> two 
Two. two what about the herbs? Two. Yeah, about the herbs, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob reaches into his pocket or onto his um, belt where the herbs have yeah, been held. This and, so, and as he's still holding it, and it's obviously quite subdued at this point, puts the herbs underneath its mouth. Okay. <sighs> Now, hopefully, the effect. Breathing and breathing. Uh, let's just get a sleight of hand check. Ooh. Kind of finessing the herbs into this thing's mouth. We'll go, with we'll go with that. This is not his. Uh, 17. All right, good enough. You hold it in, in position for a full Paladin. eight seconds, and uh, you see the herbs and spices, 12 of them, um, <laughs> harden. Uh, you see them kind of fortify, almost petrify. Wow. Um, but with that, uh, you can hold on to the thing no longer. You release it uh, just as the shield guardian, Lily, storms in and just grabs the thing by the throat. <laughs> and it's kind of like writhing and it just kind of uh, almost effortlessly uh, stomps over to the cage, uh, half throws this monstrosity in and then slams uh, the slat shut. Uh, ah, over. The crowd just erupts. Right? And uh, Marcel says, very nice, very nice and flicks you a gold piece. Jacob, oh, oh, big, grabs it. All right, pockets it. Our first gold, guess. Mm. Says this is for all of us, for a start. I feel somewhat uneasy hearing the crowd shouting for him again, but and you hear a combination of Jacob, Jacob, and tear, 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 tear. Lots of timeout signs <laughs> happening everywhere. A few <laughs> benevolent little nods and waves. Nice, and Jacob. The winner! I give you Jacob Marshall! <laughs> and as he come out, comes from my side. I put my hand on his shoulder and say, I feel that Hammerfall is no longer, and Jacob Marshall stands in this place. Thank you, Cassius. Oh, very profound. Tell me about it. Now, Deep. two things are going to happen. One, somebody is going to run and grab you, uh, Cassius. Uh, by the shoulders and spin you round and the four of you turn to see a rather lean looking uh, woman, unfamiliar to you with short red hair, she's got two short swords crossed at her back and as she spins you around Cassius pushes you back, she steps backwards looks at each of you and says (laughs) I hear the Lady Bleth wants you dead well we haven't heard that. <laughs> Jacob, slightly nonplussed. And she says, oh, she wants you dead now. And she shoots a glance at Pluckers and then says, I think you, sh- you should come with me now. And, and I say, are you here to kill us or are you here to help us? And she, she says, oh, I won't be the one to try and kill you. And at that point, you hear this <laughs> screech oh, in the no. sky. Oh, Everyone into the cage. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And... We'll end there. Woo! Awesome. hey yo! And in that moment, you all feel all the more world-weary and experienced. You level up. Yay! Well, that was all very exciting. Uh, just a quick reminder, you can email us at dragonwingspodcast at gmail.com. Otherwise, you can tweet us at dragonwingspod. There's a little bit of combat there. There'll probably be a bit more combat to come. You know what, with that cockatrice and all that. And um, we will see you next time.